Hi guys and welcome to Excel VBA of Customer Billing System. This tutorial is actually at the request of one of my viewers out there. So let me show you guys how this works. Okay, we can always, let's say we add more value in there and just click on total. You can see what happened in there. And we can add all of this information that you guys see straight onto the list box here so let's click on the list box and you guys will see that so click on workbook and right there that is it that's information of sally mark queen right there and all of those information are also on the spreadsheet itself so let's reset and you guys see how that works enter some of data in there let's say the name is mary mary moore an address of more number three there queens let's say it's queens okay and uh, she is a room whatever okay there and this is what she wants and there we go click on total and we can also add mary more details straight onto the spreadsheet just click on that and there we go that's it right there okay and if you want you'll see all of this information straight on the spreadsheet as well if i exit out i can show you guys that let's come straight onto the spreadsheet there we go and those are the information on the spreadsheet itself that's mary Moss details so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these together let's do that now guys hi and welcome to excel customer billing system i'm going to start by going to file just in case if you don't have the developer tab there go to file and right there make sure you select options and this dialog box should pop up so what you want is the customized ribbon click on the customized ribbon and there make sure the developer tab is checked if you are satisfied that that is checked just click on ok and right here now click on the developer ribbon select visual basic and what we want is the vba development environment here so we need to select user form so once you select insert select user form the form should pop up and right there guys that's the form so the next thing is we need to define the size of this form so let's come to the properties here move that up and the height i think we can make that approximately 800 so let's come right down to width and i'm going to make that about 1024 there so let's come in here and see if we can change the back color all right drop that down come right down here if i select this okay let's go for that is my back color so i'm now going to select a frame Okay, just draw a frame there and this very frame I'm gonna change the color of this very frame let me change it to something a bit green okay now copy this same frame or just grab another one draw it right inside and let's change the color of that very frame to that there that's it so I'm gonna copy both frames and just copy it across well, first thing first get rid of the content i have in there and this one as well get rid of that yeah there we go now let's add some other component on board so i'm gonna need label just paste label there and the text box and for this very label and text box let's change the size so let's go for about 16 okay so like 16 make that bold yeah i can now just hold on the, to the control copy and drag okay hold down copy and drag and maybe two more right there there I'm going to copy all of this and just 
or down to the control drag it over to the other side okay we're almost there right so that is sorted the next now we need now is let me add a list box yeah list box is fine I'm right there okay all right the next thing I would now do is click on this and just drag it down a little bit so repeat the same thing for this and do that let's bring it down there and in here we're gonna need another frame one here get rid of the content we have in there and just copy that various frame paste it in here and one here right so let's add buttons it's coming here that's a button there one here hold on to the control click and drag two and we're going to need some text in here though click drag and drop that in here and then we need buttons here paste that in here right so let's run it and see how the whole interface looks like this is how my interface looks like so a bit of uh, amendment need to be carried out anyway okay let me just take care of the whole interface and i'll get back to you guys shortly now this is how it looks so i'm going to just close that so what i want to do now is to start entering some let's enter some data in there so i'm going to call that customer customer reference and this is going to be I say first name and surname. So I'm going to just speed that up and get back to you guys. Okay, this is how it looks like. Let me run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about. There we go. But well, none of this works yet. So let's exit first thing first. I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it right inside this folder customer billing system that will be the name customer billing system and right here then select Excel macro enable and then click on save there we go saved now right so let's come straight to this exit let's double click on the exit and right there those are the lines of code for the exit okay the variable declared and the variable is then assigned a message box with the following content okay let's go back in here now let's take care of resets in the case of the reset I'm going to make reference to this frame that's frame 2 and what frame is this frame number 5 and this what's the name of this let's give that list box a name so we just call that display that's for the list box and this is going to be text box txe tax txt subtotal sub total and txt total so I can delete all of those as well or reset them as well okay all done now double click on the reset and right there I'm gonna paste that that is those are the lines of code for the content on frame 2 and this is frame 2 okay and the next one this is frame 5 
so for the frame 5 I might as well just copy this and just change it around there we go let's change this to S and there we go and this is frame 5 as for the others I have txt yeah dot text equals clear and the other two txt subtotal there then txt total there finally ls okay as display there okay so from here down here those are my lines of code for reset so let's run it and see enter some content in there okay all right reset let's see what happened okay this one is nuts let's see what's the name LST double click come in here paste that in there let's see dots clear all right that clear okay that's much better so let's say there's something in here right that's fine and exit works as well okay now let's take care of this i want all of the content in here and in here i want them to go straight onto the workbook and the total is to add the value that we have in here okay so that's what's gonna happen so let's take care of those two exit yes okay let's double click on the workbook button and write down here the first thing I would like to do there is I'm going to declare as follows dim WKSR's worksheet that would be worksheet okay right now declare another one there I'm going to, I'm just gonna call that add new as the range now let's set worksheet as sheet number one so what I'm trying to do in here is every single data in there I would like to add them straight onto my worksheet so that's what I'm trying to achieve here so and I'm going to be using the workbook button to do that so the next thing I will do now is let me set add new equals worksheet dot the range and for the range I'm going to make that 65,000 plus so that would be 65,356 there make sure you put that in quotes dot let's say end okay and that's going to be x up this very one that dot offset and that is going to be one by zero there we go so let's add the very first one the first one I'm going to add will be that of the customer add new dot offset um, that is going to be zero comma zero close that dot value and the value equals TXE customer dot text so that's my very first one the second one I can still recall that surname first name and surname I think I have address there so that will be first name this is surname address and let's change this a 
minus one two three I'm just gonna copy this and speed up the whole process because I'm gonna need about let's say tw uh, 18 of those there okay guys I'll finish up with the coding for that and I've also included that of the the tax subtotal and total uh, there's one more thing and that is to do with that of the list box I've also added that of the list box because I want all of the information to be displayed on the list box so have a good look at it but if I run the program now this is what you guys will see but there won't be any any headings or anything let's say that's customer details and the name is Dave and let's just say South End okay in the case of this ones I'm going to make that those up because there's nothing in there so all I'm going to do now is just click on that okay you see all of those information right in here okay and I also have them on my list box so if I keep clicking there we go you see that guys I also have them on the on the work worksheet yeah so all of this data you, sh you should be able to see them on the worksheet but the total is not working so every single value here is wrong what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly